what's up guys it's hanif here welcome to another video and in this video we're going to be color grading and color correcting dark skin tone in photoshop we're going to be talking about color grading and correct color correcting dark skin tones in photoshop before we continue with this video make sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this um, leave a thumbs up by the way my prints are available now at um, hanif.darkroom.tech the link will be in front of your screen and the link is in the description below so you, if you want to support this channel by buying some prints i will appreciate that and if you can also re request it for a print you can go to my instagram at pictures by hanif let me know any image that you want me to add to my darkroom um, page or profile so yeah um i'm just going to do basic adjustments here then go into the in-depth color grading and color correcting in photoshop most of the time for my color correcting and color grading process i use lightroom i'm going to show you guys like people that use photoshop how to do it in photoshop yeah so i don't think i'll touch my temperature yet let me just go with my exposure and contrast because i think my i think my white balance was good enough yeah so I'm just going to bring on my shadows, just little adjustments here. Bring on my shadows, whites, then blacks. Bring, on, bring down my blacks, yeah. yeah. If you check my Instagram, I've already color graded this image in Lightroom. All of that was done in Lightroom, so. Yeah, I'm just doing, for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm just doing everything in Photoshop now. So my clarity just a little bit, very little like five or four, yeah, four is good. Um of my shadows. Okay, um we're going to bring this down, the highlights down a bit. Yeah. Okay, I think this image is good as it is right now, so I'm just going to move on to another adjustment. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let me see what I can do with it. Let me see what I can do with white balance. Okay, I'll just bring it up a bit. Yeah, okay, and then I'm going to use my tone curve in my um, in Photoshop itself, not camera raw. So um next thing I'm going to be doing here is I, I'm, I'm more used to Lightroom for this process, but I'm going to do all of this in Photoshop. These greens look weird. So I'm just going to leave my greens as this kind of. Yeah. The version I did in Lightroom was more of a desaturated vibe. But I'm not really sure what I'm going for this one, but yeah. For the purpose of the video, I'm going to just show you guys how to work with dark skin tone in Photoshop and color grading. Yeah. Not going to do any of this. None, none. I'm not going to do anything with my um, camera collaboration, so I'm just going to open this image. I don't want to do too much, so I'm just going to open this image here. Um, first, I'm going to do is um, Ctrl G, duplicate this layer. I think I'm going to um, retouch the skin before anything else. If you're curious about my skin retouching process, yeah, I think you should check. I think you should check my previous video. I made a video on frequent separation. You should check that out before anything else. I'm using a spot in brush tool for this. So check my frequent separation tutorial so you can get what I'm doing here. So yeah, I'm just going to, I think I might speed this up. Alright guys, I think we're done with this spot removal here. 
um let me zoom in and show you guys uh, before after so i use a spot healing brush for this um the next thing i'm going to do here is frequency separation um i'm using i use my retouching academy panel for this so i'm just going to click this It's my mixer brush. Set my wet. Uh, I'm just going to leave my wet at ten. Yeah, and I'm leaving at ten because I want to like smoothen her hair. I'm just going to leave at ten. Yeah. The purpose I left it here was so I can do this, like so the edges of her hair I can fix it. Okay, now I'm going to set my wet at two and then remember we do frequency separation. Watch my previous video on frequency separation. See if you don't understand what's going on here. So I'm just going to speed this up as well. Alright guys, I think we are doing the frame separation for this image. First thing I'm going to do here is um, a selective color. Um, I think before I do that, before I do that, sorry, before I do that, let me just go to my black and white layer. Change my blend mode to luminosity. Then I'll make this adjustment here. Now what I'm doing here is um, just adjust the reds and yellows on the skin, just making it a bit darker. You can see here, yeah, so like so our skin tone pops more, kind of. So it really gives it that melanin vibe, you know. So um, I repeat so much, so I'm just going to reduce the saturation. I'm still going to go to my black and white layer, yeah, change the opacity to like. 10 yeah so i think 10 is fine for me 10 is fine for me yeah let me zoom in okay 10 is fine good all right the next i'm going to be doing is get to my selective color now um i get to my green to like change them no just my magenta yellows okay i love what i've done to my greens yeah um yeah the next I'm going to the next I'm going to do is um I all I did was add science science or science science to my greens and I've got I'm going to my red now. I'm removing like science from the red, like kind of brings that skin tone back just little adjustment here. Add a bit of yellow to the skin. Give that brown skin look. Um, I think I'll, I'll leave my black as it is here. All right. I think that that's fine. All right. Okay. The next thing I'm going to be doing here is um, color balance. This part of the color correction process. Like if you zoom in to the shadows, I think there's a little bit of too much blues in the shadows. So shadows. Um, so I don't know. I'm just get rid of that a bit yeah just minus two is fine yeah i'm going to put this on black on my layer at the top mm -hmm. so my shadows minus three uh i think minus two is fine for my shadows and then um 
yeah i'm not going to let me just add it uh, red is too much for the shadows so i'm just going to leave that as this then my highlights i'm going to add a bit of um cyan to the highlights to uh, give it a bit of a warmer vibe i think i'll add blue bad blue i think blue is fine yeah and then um then my mid tones i think a bit of red kind of and yellow in the mid tones so the skin gets a better look yeah so this before color balance and after color balance see i see it makes the game really gives it that more of a brown skin look here so uh, and then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my selective color to still make a bit of adjustments on the blues um so see just to give it make you give that cyan look the blues all right with my channel mixer reduce the res a bit uh, this just gives it a bit of um blue background so make it less warm and then what i'm going to do in the channel mixer is add it to a group and then um, mask it no i'm just going to uh, create a mask then brush over our skin so that it doesn't affect the skin oh sorry wrong color yeah Okay, so I've brushed the skin out of it. You can see how the image becomes cooler, like it gives it a better vibe. Before so I reduce the opacity a bit. And I've also made a tutorial on masking as well. So if you so if you want to understand how masking works, and I can use the Imperial um, editing process. I made a video on that so you can watch that. And then yeah. I think that's all. Yeah, so that's all we're going to be doing on this image let me show you guys quick before and after um, before after before after now this is so much change has been done to this image so if you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content like this and like the video give the video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys next week bye